Good afternoon. Mm, I am Shanika from Polvea Pottery. I should. I thought I should take a um, little video of uh, the pottery craft kiln uh, with the brand new Stafford 315B power uh, programmer. I just plugged it in here yeah, into an extension lead. Don't do that at home, please. When you are firing, when when you are actually firing the kiln, please don't plug it into an extension lead. It must be plugged into a 13 amp main socket 13 solid amps no less please um here we are these are all brand new these cables the controller itself and um, all the wires cables inside the wirings inside the kiln there is there is this control box here and the um, pictures on ebay will show you uh, the brand new wirings this kiln has been fully reconditioned on the 12th of October 2021 by our kiln engineer. It's a 3.2 kilowatts single phase, 1260 degrees maximum um, firing temperature made by Pottery Crafts. This is, a, this is an older generation model which is far better than their brand new models. And there is this one. This thing is called a um, lid cutoff switch that this little um, roller like a disc thing that need to be free moving. Yes, everything, uh, all the wirings have been fully re uh, reconditioned. I mean, not reconditioned, brand new wirings. All replaced because of the old wirings have been burnt out. So, our engineer has all replaced it all with brand new it's, it is uh, virtually a brand new kiln other than the jacket and all these bricks bricks are not new mm, but all everything else everything else um it's brand new bricks and jackets are not new so it has a very solid um solid lock okay so that means it's it's really good um heat saver so, just trying to show you the overall condition. It was a used kiln which we bought and um, now it is as good as a brand new kiln. Well, much better really because of the bricks are very good in them days. The bricks used those days were much better than those that those are used modern days. There are a few um, hairline cracks as you can see which does not affect the performance of the kiln. They are it's all solid, nothing is moving. And a brand new lead gasket as you can see has been replaced by our engineer. And thermocouple has been replaced with a fully, fully um, right. functional uh, second hand one. The brand new elements are fitted here 3.2 kilowatts as you can see this kiln must be fully fired to 1100 degrees celsius before you put any pottery in it to oxidize these new elements it must be done before you do any firings okay so please make sure you fire this kiln empty to 1100 degrees celsius as you can see there are some cracks on the bottom uh, the floor of the kiln which does not affect its performance uh, here when I push it doesn't move at all it's just um, superficial I will need to vacuum it a bit it's just a little bit dusty that's all it's in um, overall very good condition bricks are all solid so, uh, when you are opening and shutting the kiln, uh, hold this lid firmly and um, bring the lid back down very carefully, not to slam it, because that will damage the bricks. Slowly shut it. And and you need to line the line these two things. Line, the, line this. Make sure that this, this goes around. As you can see, it's not now. So, you just need to push it back a little like that. And... Uh, so yeah, while so just push it a little bit 
and make sure it's, it's just fully aligned before you um i'm just do, trying to do it with one hand that's it you see it's, it just go, goes um goes well goes okay when you are when you have fully aligned it with the latch right and it is it it um tightens very nicely snugly and quite tight now let's find out how to use the controller this kiln um has a stafford temperature programmer is stafford 315b the power version which means that you don't have to put extra contactors and relays into the controller box as you can see how small the controller box is uh, is that is the way it is that is made by the manufacturers um, as such so um this kiln has kiln controller has nine programs so if you if you press the step button it will display program number three if you go up it will go up until nine and if you go down it will go down to whichever program you want one two three so if you want to um, start that program number three program number three you need to press the step button once it will say zero see four zeros that means delay would you like to delay the program until um, you do shopping or would you like to start the program in the middle of the night while you are sleeping few hours delay things like that i i'm not going to do delay anymore now so um press the step button again i put 75 degrees i'm trying to show you a typical biscuit um temperature biscuit firing temperature so 75 degrees per hour you can see this is illuminating press the step button again until 600 degrees celsius it says here and here the temperature and this bulb will be um, flashing up and down and then the step button again it will say would you like to soak zero four zeros our minutes would you like to soak this this one will be illuminated and i don't want to soak at that temperature so press the step button again now you are firing at 125 degrees this is the second segment as the previous segment was segment number one and we are still in the program number three we haven't changed the program it is the only segment is mm, changing so second segment is 125 degrees per hour till oh it's gone back to its um room temperature so 125 degrees per hour till 1000 degrees so if you want to increase the temperature you go up decrease go down so 1000 degrees is the uh, biscuit maximum biscuit fire temperature anyway this is this is a this is how i fire my pottery 1000 degrees maximum uh, for biscuit wares and uh, then uh, press the button step button again there will be two four zeros that means would you like to soak at the top temperature i wouldn't so i will say zero four zeros and i will leave it as it is and now end that should dis display and that's it if you if you press that button again it will go to room temperature and that you just uh, press the start stop button and this light will be illuminated now throughout the firing and there will be this little button comes on and off that is the contactor um, giving energy a little bit at a time so this one this one will be because of it is segment number one at the moment this light will be illuminated and when it goes to the 600 degrees th that's the that's the um, top temperature of the segment number one which will be 600 degrees which uh, therefore this light will be illuminated and when it goes back to segment number two this light again will be illuminated and when it goes to 1000 degrees this one will be illuminated you will learn this um, as you go and uh, please um, make sure you read the instruction manuals and understand how to use the kiln controller because many people get this wrong so um, this is program number three there are nine program that you can you can do anything with you know and um, nine segments as you can see there is a little button next to the right on the right comes on and off it's heating up slowly it's heating up very slowly because i have only put 75 degrees per hour i can put it on full power but don't put it on full power because don't expect your pottery to be fired to maturing temperature if you put it on full power and um, it usually doesn't work that fast 
so usually for your pottery to be fired to mature temperature it needs uh, heat work something called heat work that means it need heats as well as time to mature so once it is once it had both of that it will be matured so it's 20 degrees now and also please make sure you do not use one of these extension leads at home i'm only using it for demonstration purposes only and it's 21 degrees now as you can see it's heating up slowly 22 and it's been um uh, pet tested by our engineer also uh, a certificate signed by himself will be provided for proof as well and um, we are the only people only reconditioners who, who do that nobody else does that i have not seen anybody else who does that we make sure our all our product go through our engineer our highly qualified engineer uh, to give you peace of peace of mind trouble free kiln firings and pottery other pottery equipment as well as you can see this is all brand new this this control is quite expensive um it will cost you over 600 pound just to buy the controllers not including the cables and it has wheels as well cast a wheel that you can just move around there yes there you can move it around in the studio but not when it is firing though you can see the temperature is slowly going up i hope um, you like the video and i will be providing two bunk i don't know where i put the bunk two bunks top top bunk for he here when you um, when you see the kiln has reached 600 degrees celsius you must put these two bunks here one here i will be providing you with bunks and shelves two shelves um there are two holes so one one hole here when the kiln says 600 degrees you come and put these bunks here please don't do do it before um it it must be done after 600 degrees celsius otherwise you are going if you put it before you are going to lock all the moisture and all the bad fumes in like sulfuric uh, sulfur and chlorine all that kind of um, chemicals you know that you are going to be locking everything in and then therefore the kiln will rot inside inside and the controllable box will be rotten too so please don't leave all all the bunks open until 600 degrees celsius some manufacturers say leave it open and uh, throughout the firings but i wouldn't do that because you are letting the heat out so after 600 degrees you can put all the bunks in safely and when when the kiln is cooling leave all the bunks until the room temperature which is which is 37 degrees celsius you can see it's going up slowly 29 degrees now so here we go pet test passed electrical safety test here Let me hear. Hope uh, this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.